Welcome investors, good evening. We are Roybine Sciences, a revolutionary pipeline and clinical trial research company. Today we will be going over our agenda and I will introduce our company to you and show you the excellent investment opportunity. We'll start off with the value proposition and end with year one select tactical projects. At the bottom of the slide, you can find our Shark Tank video with the YouTube URL. Background. The value proposition for Royvant Sciences is a global healthcare company focused on realizing the full value of promising biomedical research to improve the lives of, the, of their patients and their families. Royvant is dedicated to transformative innovation in healthcare. Our mission is to systematically reduce the time and cost of the drug development process. We partner with innovative biopharmaceutical companies and academical institutions like Johns Hopkins to ensure that important medicines are rapidly delivered to patients. Our large capital base and diverse clinical expertise allows us to pull, pull the most promising drugs into our pipeline into rapid development for commercialization. Two, our challenge and opportunity. Here's the market-wide business problem. Identifying research drugs in development today that will have the greatest impact on patients' lives tomorrow. Specializing in neurology, urology, women's endocrine diseases, dermatology, and rare diseases, Roy Vine analyzes which medicines in the entire clinical trial space will be ready for impact tomorrow. Our market solution. Industry-wide pipelines of clinical research companies are both vast and complex. A knowledgeable market leader is needed within the industry to filter out the noise. Roy Vaughn is that, is that market mechanism. With our clinical expertise, we are allowed to pick the most pro profitable drugs and get them into commercialization as fast as possible. Innovation. Forming new subsidiaries that we call Vaunts, Royvon employs its team of over 250 healthcare professionals to rapidly find the greatest chance of reaching FDA approval. This acceleration brings new medicines to the market at a rate and a commercial scale previously not attainable in the industry. Our market positioning, our vision and mission, current mission, through an expert staff of leading clinical research professionals and an abundant capital base, Royvon's disruptive pipeline to commercialization process has currently 17 drugs that have revolutionary patient treatment potential across multiple disciplines. Our future vision. Royvon's goal is to improve as many patients' lives as possible. We are the leading pharmaceutical industry in what we see as inevitable full integration with the healthcare system as a whole. We see that, the, we, see that we will not just be a pipeline clinical research drug company. We will trans, we'll be a transformative company with our data solutions to merge with healthcare as a, as a whole. In five years, Royvon will be targeting a valuation of 282 million. This is based off our, our objective KPI and sales of 141 million. To reach our spe specific performance target of sales, our tactical initiatives and in advertising to promote commercialization of ready drugs, as well as, as marketing to m and uh, venture capital groups to raise funding. Our five-year pre-IPO funding goal is 65 million. Now I'll be handing it off to our CFO, Shi Hang Chen. Hi, everyone. As a CFO for the company, I'm going to walk you through our market landscapes. So as a drug company, we mostly operate in the for-profit private sectors. And we are mostly, uh, and as a pharmaceutical company, we're mostly targeting the healthcare uh, industries uh, with a domain as a disease management drugs uh, and the solution categories uh, with the uh, therapeutic drugs. In terms of geography, we're mostly primarily focused, uh, focusing on the United States at the moment with that set. Some of the major macro environmental forces that we're going to be encounters are uh, government regulations and medical innovations. And for micro environmental forces, we'll continue to secure new capital and form joint ventures with external collaboration partners to accelerate our pipeline development. In terms of addressable market size, we're looking at $13.4 billion with a breakdown in prostate cancer, uterine fibroids, endometriosis, uh, rare disease uh, such as the complete digital syndromes and overactive bladder. In terms of the prospects, uh, as you can see, um, 
uh, in order to deliver innovative medicine all the way from drug maker all the way to our patients, you, uh, you will encounter a very complex supply chain here in the U.S. As a drug maker, our primary focus is to secure and establish a relationship with major wholesaler in the U.S. to make sure that our drugs are accessible across all the regions in the U.S. For particular regions and markets, we can target uh, to establish relationship with pharmacies to improve our uh, profit margins going forward. And in terms of competitors, uh, here you can see for prostate cancers and overactive bladders, there are already quite a few of uh, therapeutic drugs in, uh, in those markets. So as our drugs are getting ready to enter into these markets, we do foresee some challenge uh, to establish market uh, shares. But for uterine fibroids and endometriosis, uh, there are currently only two players in the market. And for rare disease complete digital syndromes, there are currently no available therapeutic drugs in the markets. So as our drugs are getting ready into the market, we're looking to uh, establish market leaderships in those positions. In terms of exit strategies, uh, traditionally, you'll be looking at IPO, financial M&A, and strategic M&A. And for our case, given our uh, exponential uh, growth in our financial projections, we're really targeting IPO in our case. And with that said, I'm going to hand it over to Larry as the um, co-founder of the company uh, to walk over the solution uh, descriptions. So we're going to talk about our intellectual property, which is pretty vast considering the age of our company being about four years of old. So uh, this uh, slide uh, starts with the number of licensed patents we have for exclusive global development or that we own ourselves. Um, and as we talked, as was mentioned earlier, Royvent is uh, itself an, a company and it has subsidiaries and three subsidiaries that have particular patents are Medivant, Axivant, and Dermavant. Um, of particular note, Medivant uh, has patents in the care of diabetes and Axivant in the care of neurologic and psychologic, dis psychologic diseases, which have large uh, addressable markets, as noted before. We currently have no copyrights, not really a field we deal with. Our trademark is Ravant, and other trade secrets, which is particularly the secret sauce for this organization, is our special advanced processes to test and develop drugs with marked cycle time reduction compared to standard in industry practice to bring drugs to market. Our solutions compose of generally two areas. One, products, novel pharmacologic agents in an array of areas across muscle diseases, as I mentioned, diabetes, uh, urologic diseases, neurologic problems, and autoimmune disease, as well as others, and a data solutions. DataVant organizes and structures healthcare data across an array of sources uh, to improve clinical um, trial decision making. This currently is not available. Uh, and with the array of clinical trials going on across the world, we believe that this is a, uh, a profoundly marketable solution that will uh, be novel to the market and help uh, catapult uh, pharmacologic uh, production and research going forward, as well as being highly profitable. Our solution roadmap uh, is shown in the chart on the uh, right. And uh, th we have numerous compounds in um, human clinical trials advanced to stage three, as you see in the diagram. We have five agents at stage three, which is impressive given the company was only incorporated in 2004. And, um, we have uh, ongoing drug development and patent assignment uh, to add to the pipeline. I'm now gonna turn it over for a company overview to Oliver Green, our Chief Operating Officer. Thank you, Larry. So our company, Royvent, was founded in 2014. And this company uh, focuses on developing, identifying, and purchasing the rights to leading clinical trial drugs through our own wholly owned subsidiaries. We have an innovative business model that accelerates the commercialization and the focus of trial medicines. We have a very, very uh, proven clinical uh, development leaders as part of our executive board and as part of our executive team. Royvent has already hit some major milestones to date. We've already experienced rapid growth and success in, in our young history. Axiovant, which is one of our uh, uh, partners, is an Alzheimer's uh, subsidiary that IPO in 2015 for 315 million. SoftBank Vision Fund in August of 2017 raised 1.1 billion 
in private investment into the company. The slide you see before you here is our organizational structure. You see at the top our chief executive officer, Brian Marine, uh, and our two sectors on, on either side with the chief financial officer, Xiang Chen, and our business development uh, director and, and chief technology officer. Um, those segments on your right have not yet been uh, identified, but we're definitely in the process of making that happen. But we, we do have a, a good foundational start as far as our finances are concerned and establishing our operational solutions delivery to clients. We've broken that up into two VONTs. Uh, we have group one VONT, which you see four of our eight VONTs. Uh, the group one VONTs are all the, the VONTs that we're currently working with that have drugs in the pipeline. Uh, and all those VONTs have patents on the, the, the drug solutions that we're uh, deriving now. And in group two, those are our emerging market VONTs, including Donavant, which you heard uh, Larry explain earlier. As I discussed earlier, we have a very, very extensive and, and highly experienced professional team, uh, starting with Brian Marine as our chief executive officer, Xi and Chen, uh, who you've met, our chief financial officer, myself, Oliver Queen as your chief operations officer, and our two co-founders, uh, Larry Ramuno and Igor Caspian. Again, a very, very highly experienced and professional uh, board of directors uh, with uh, former health and health services direct, uh, 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 secretary Kathleen Sebelius and other very uh, strong uh, board members with extensive experience in the field. So here we're discussing our traction, right? Our, our focused customers will be the bioformal, uh, bioformal in numerous areas of, of, of the research community. We have several major uh, partners, both uh, in the United States and uh, some international conglomerates as well to include Merck, GSK, AstraZeneca, uh, Vertex, Takeda, and other additional partners around the world. We've also partnered with the academic institutions as well, such as Duke Medicine and several major hospitals such as Mount Sinai and Cincinnati's Children. Other ecosystem constituents consist of the World Health Organization, government research funders, health services in the developed and developing world as well. Our financiers. Royvin has a simple business model. We like to first isolate and identify the drugs that we need. We need to vaunt launch. We accelerate that process and then we scale it uh, commercially. Our business model uh, consists of uh, growth over time, as you can see. Uh, we, we, we focus primarily uh, for our revenue stream on proprietary drugs and solutions delivery. And our expenses uh, that we have calculated up to year five will consist of our direct costs on solutions delivery and the indirect costs in business development. And as you can see, uh, our revenue has more than enough uh, room uh, to capture those expenses and, and then some. So now I'll turn you over uh, to our chief executive officer, Brian Marin, and he'll take us home. Thank you so much, Oliver. I appreciate it. So we're taking a look at our investment request. We're going to take a look at the funding amount and the type that we're asking for. In year one, we're looking for half a million dollars. In our seed stage, we're looking for a convertible note. In year two, we're looking for a one and a half million dollar request throughout the early stage. We're going to primarily focus this on cash through venture capitalism. By year three and year four, we're going to look for two payments. In year three, we're looking for a nine and a half million dollar request of a thirty nine and a half million dollar request through our mid stage. Again, we're gonna take a look at venture capitalism through payment one in cash. By year four, we're gonna look for that final $30 million payment in our late stage through venture capitalism and our private equity. That's gonna be payment number two. It's gonna come in the form of cash, which is 22 and a half million, and our loan making up the additional seven and a half million to complete that request. By year five, we're gonna be in our pre-IPO stage, venture capitalist and our investment bank, we're looking for a $65 million request. The use of our funds are going to be year one through year three is primarily going to be on hardware and software products and through the proprietary drugs that we do offer through our vans. And our primary use of funds in year four and five are going to be marketing and advertising and the development of our sales staff. The return on investment year one through five will range from 20% all the way through 30%. Our financial projections and what you're seeing in the slide in front of you, our revenue through years one through five 
you can see that we were able to capture a good portion of the market. Our direct cost is something that we were able to manage through that revenue stream. And as you can see, based off of year five, our gross margin and the total of sales that we achieved was 97.74%. Again, able to cover our indirect costs through the development of our sales staff and our marketing team. And then our earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, we're looking at 92 million by year five. Our performance measurements. The slide that you see before you is our strategic goals. Our internal, our internal resources and our external entity interfaces, two of the primary areas that we're gonna focus on, first is in the internal resources. Our intellectual property resources, which are the drugs and the patents that we're creating for the Vance, both on the medical side and the consulting side. And obviously our facility resources that we'll use to capture that business. The external, the external entity interface is the two areas that are heavily weighted that we're going to focus, focus on is our supply chain interface and how we actually deliver these products to market and our delivery partners interface, which again will help us deliver these products to market. And again, Roy Vance General Partnership will help get that done. Your, our, our objectives with the KPIs, first, we wanna grow our customer base by 12 to 15% per quarter. How we're gonna do that is through sales. Basically what we're taking a look at is our sales growth versus the goal will measure Roy Vance sales success. We can take a look at strategic partnerships with pharmaceutical companies that may look to break into the US market. Roy Vance will be responsible for the development and commercialization of pharmaceutical drugs and will receive net royalties based off of sales. We also want to take a look at increasing our customer acquisition by 8% per year overall. Roy Van can refer back to the number of new pa uh, patients diagnosed and prescribed the medicine to treat their diagnosis. This will be a telling sign of whether or not Roy Van is meeting its growth goals. Continuing, we want to continue to decrease our, our, our R&D costs steadily by 4% year over year. What we're looking at is Roy Van value added. Reva gives us information about the value created in a period. The value is created when the return on the company's or divisional capital employed, ROCE, is higher than the weighted average cost of capital, WACC. Reva metrics provide Roy Van with a powerful tool to weigh investment and spending decisions against capital requirements and investors' expectations. And the last KPI we want to focus on is our EBITDA. This is pre-primary performance indicator measuring ongoing operational profitability, and we want to use this internally and externally. This would allow Roy Van to leverage the attraction to the investors and potential pharmaceuticals that we want to emerge with as well. Tactical projects, short term, we want to focus on continuing to develop our sales staff and marketing and advertising. We want to look at increasing sales staff by 15% and our marketing and advertising budget to 25% as we reach the national market. And the drugs set to release from phase three testing is what we want to focus on. My event, ENDS event, and your event are ready to push three drugs into market. Long-term vision is micromanaging day-to-day -day goals and focusing on execution through phase three projects coming to market launch, focusing on sales and marketing advertisement and execution of product to market, focus attention to drugs that are currently set to move from phase one to phase two, and also phase two to phase three, and of course, developing the knowledge around those drugs set to hit market. The last tactical project is assigning individuals or teams with project expertise to specific actions. We wanna focus on teams to priority, Assign tasks based off a of skill set to ensure success, staff development to increase capability, assigning leadership, and assign tasks to high level of interest, which means no wasted time in execution of tasks. Thank you so much for your time. We truly appreciate the time that you've given us to hear about Roy Event, and we look forward to any questions that you may have for us.